Alright guys, for today I have a Hunter build. We are looking at the Revenant or Stasis subclass. So for your aspects, you're going to want to start with Touch of Winter, so that whenever you use your Dusk Field Grenade, it will increase the size and also give you a small little Stasis Crystal, which we will take advantage of with our Fragments. I will show you in just a minute. Then we're also going to be using Grim Harvest, so defeating slowed or frozen combatants creates stasis shards. Picking them up grant melee energy to you or your allies, but because of some mods we're going to take advantage of that in some other ways as well. So of course for the grenade we're going to be running Dusk Field Grenade, melee, and jump, uh, doesn't really matter, but for your abilities, I would recommend Gambler's Dodge so that you always have your melee charge so that you can continuously be creating more uh, stasis shards from taking down enemies, spawning those stasis shards. For your fragments, we're going to start off with Whisper of Torment. You gain grenade energy each time you take damage from targets. Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting stasis shards will grant small amounts of overshield, and trust me, there's going to be a lot of stasis shards, so you're going to have overshield for days. And in the case that you're low on health, picking up those stasis shards also triggers health regen, which is really nice little save button. Whisper of Shards, shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional stasis crystals increase the duration of this benefit and plus 10 resilience. So the way that this is going to be benefiting us is, like I said, with our aspect touch of winter, we're going to have a little stasis uh, sh column. I don't know what it technically is called right now. My mind is blanking. But by breaking that, we're going to be boosting our grenade recharge rate. And then we're going to be running Whisper of Conduction, so you do not have to be tracking down all those stasis shards. They will be coming to you, and for a nice little bump in resilience and intellect. And for the final fragment, we're going to be running Whisper of Durance. Slow from your abilities last longer, and those abilities that linger, their duration will also increase, and plus 10 strength. So the slow... It makes it to where you can be taking advantage of the Harvest Fragment more uh, easily. And also, I believe that it makes your Dust Field Grenade last longer as well. So, we are going to go ahead and start with the mods on your armor pieces. Starting with your helmet, I recommend running a Arc Elemental Affinity. With double hands-on, since you're going to be throwing out your ice shurikens quite frequently, getting you lots of super energy. And then melee wellmaker, so that all of those shurikens you're throwing out and getting the kills with will give you a stasis well, which then in turn will give you more grenade, melee, and dodge energy. The exotic we're going to be taking advantage of here is going to be the renewal grasps. I know that they just got nerfed, but due to this build, I find that it is still very usable. It's nice to have that reduce in damage, and the dust field grenade radius just being so large, it is quite a nice little safety bubble to give you good resistance. And you know what? I just like the exotic, and I think it's still very much usable even post-nerf. So. Starting off with the uh, Elemental Affinity, we're going to be running Stasis for Elemental Shards. Stasis Shards count as Stasis Elemental Wells. So all of those Stasis Shards we take out, or we uh, create from taking out with our Ice Shurikens, and also if they are slowed, I believe, we'll be creating uh, Stasis Shards, aka Stasis Wells now. And then I like to run Melee Kickstart because uh, Firepower and Kickstart mods do not mesh well. So since I'm running Firepower for my grenade, I figured I would run Melee Kickstart for extra melee energy. 
on my chess piece, it's a solar elemental affinity with, there it is, firepower. So while charged with light, regain a portion of your grenade energy when you use your grenade, consuming one stack of charged with light. That way, we're getting that little chunk to get our grenade back going, and we'll just keep on feeding us grenade energy with all of the different mods combined. I like to run Concussive Dampener because AoE just drives me insane, and Thermoshock Plating is just a really nice seasonal mod, and I absolutely love it. For your boots, we're running a Solar Elemental Affinity with Elemental Charge, so all of those stasis shards you pick up will then make you charge with light so that you can take advantage of firepower. And then innervation, so reduces grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power, and recuperation, so you get health back each time you pick up an orb of power. And finally we've got your cloak, so it's going to be stasis elemental affinity again with Well of Restoration. So I love this mod because it makes it to where picking up those Stasis Elemental Wells and or Shards will grant you additional energy for the ability that has the lowest energy. So it's just a really good way to make sure you always have your Grenade Melee and Dodge. And of course, per, uh, Distribution. Each time you dodge reduces all ability cooldowns. So by doing that, when you're running Gambler's Dodge, you're basically feeding yourself extra grenade and class ability energy. As far as the stats for your armor, you're going to want to get as close as you can to 100 uh, on your Discipline. That is the primary stat we're focusing on here so that you always have that grenade going. And then after that, I would probably recommend High Resilience and High Recovery as the next top uh, prioritized stats. So for the weapons for this build, I like Wither Horde. It's a really good option considering you can just drop it and it can do AoE damage for you so that you're kind of protected, it's, even though you're already protected inside your little bubble. It's just a really good way to do damage without having to think. and once you holster it, auto-loading holster, then you don't have to even think about it. Funnel Web is just such a good weapon, and with Subsistence and Frenzy, it's almost always ammo loaded and stuff, so you can just shred through enemies. It's really good to pair with almost any build, I think. And then finally, I've got the Zephyr, but really anything with uh, Chill Clip would also work because I don't think that you can currently get this sword if you don't have it. But I believe the Palmera, and that's actually the only one I can think of right now, but that has Chill Clip that will also help you with slowed enemies, creating you stasis shards. But specifically Cold Steel, it says powered sword hits slow targets, but not everyone may know this, light attacks also do slow them. So that then takes advantage of your Grim Harvest aspect. Before I show you a quick little uh, gameplay demonstration, uh, for those that are curious, my Destiny is the Prodigal Mask for the helmet, Shadow's Vest for the chest piece, Shadow Strides for the uh, Black Panther looking sick boots, and then Opulent Stalker Cloak for the cloak and then I've got first frost first frost on everything except for the boots I just like night chill nights chill to bring it out more all right so real quick just to demonstrate you can run in take out one person with your melee look at those stasis shards you're already charged with light throw down your grenade take them out and then before you leave, make sure you break that stasis uh, crystal so that you get your increased grenade recharge. And then move on to the next encounter. Just keep on using those abilities. And we've almost already got our grenade back right there. And then we can drop Wither Horde, breaks that, does huge AoE damage, and you can just continue on and having that nice little damage resist. But as you can see, uh, let me see if I can get it. 
Oh, it keeps picking it up. I'm getting way too close, and Whisper of Conduction will just pick it up way before I can uh, even show it. But, yep, so that is the Snow Globe Reaper build. I know a lot of people think that Renewal Grasps are probably absolute trash right now, but I think that they are still very much usable and have a good utility for the people that want to actually build into it. So thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, please. That would be amazing. And I try to put out a new build for either Titan, Warlock, or Hunter every Wednesday. So just make sure to check back then. Thanks for watching. Bye.